Well, what happened here 40 years ago changed the Tampa Fire Department forever. It was a very early case of workplace violence. A disgruntled employee walked in and started shooting, leaving two men dead and one wounded. Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers shows us how the victims are being remembered. Tampa firefighters deal with emergencies every day, but they'll never forget an emergency at their own fire station. Back in 1981, uh, this was a rather unprecedented event, a workplace violence. Firefighter Isaac Royal's family got word of what happened. Brother's hurt. My brother's right up the street. So did he fall off a truck or something, you know? And he wouldn't say, but he was hit. All of them had tears in their eyes, even the captain. And tears are shed even 40 years later at a firefighter's memorial, just a stone's throw from where it happened. A man wearing blue coveralls and a motorcycle helmet covering his face came here to Station 1 downtown. He was armed with a pistol and he started shooting. And he come in and I glanced over at him. When I glanced over at him, I saw the gun in his hand. Richard Barrett says the shooter had a 357. And he was shooting. The Chief Warner, I think he shot him either once or twice, don't remember. District Chief Franz Warner was killed. My mother ultimately called the fire station and they said, yes, that my father had been involved, somebody was coming out, and, you know, a city car with a couple of chiefs came into the house. And they delivered the news? And they delivered the news to my mother, yes. He followed his father into a fire department that doesn't forget. The two who were lost might have been three but for a fraction of an inch that saved Richard. As a reaction, I kind of jumped out of the chair to my left, and the bullet hit me and went on through. The ex-firefighter who did the shooting, Anthony D'Arcangelo, was arrested at his home hours after the shooting. He was later convicted and sentenced to life in prison. But those who are remembered are the ones who answer the call and the two who lost their lives that day at Station One. In Tampa, Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News.